Patrick Lang with Certainty Management. This YouTube channel is part of the Strategic Advisor Board YouTube Live channel. And as I mentioned earlier, we were invited to be a part of it because our entire focus as a firm, as a profitability firm, is to help great, create greater certainty in the lives of our clients. This week, in honor of Veterans Day, I've been talking about some of the experiences I've, I had in the Army, uh, lessons I learned, people I met, and uh, really many of the life experiences that I took away from my time in the Army, my time in the military, that have affected me to this day. Now, anyone who served in the military knows that there is a risk by doing so, especially depending on if you're in infantry or working in a combat zone, there's always a risk of losing one's life. It's one of the things I'm grateful for is how much the government, the country, the military especially, honors those who give the ultimate sacrifice. Um, if you've ever seen um, just if you've ever seen what happens when they bring a casket home, they drape it with a flag and how it is honored and protected and and transported to that 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 soldier, that sailor, that airman's loved ones. It's very inspiring and it's tragic. It's it's um, it's difficult to observe, but it's also um, it's also one of the highlights. I think one of the most impressive things that happens in our country. That being said, when a serviceman or servicewoman loses their life when they didn't have to, that is a travesty. And unfortunately, it has happened and it does happen. In fact, more often than it should. I have a good friend by the name of Frank Hellring. He's a headliner host for Voice America Business, just as I am. My show, Finding Certainty, came about because of Frank. I was a guest on his show and he encouraged me to apply to be a host myself. Frank does a weekly show every Wednesday called Business Buzz, and he's very actively involved in supporting the military, the veterans, uh, Vietnam vets, et cetera, et cetera. Well, his show this last Wednesday was a show that every person who has, has served who has veterans in their family, who is grateful for the warriors that protect and defend us here in the United States should watch. Whoever you are, I encourage you to take the time to listen to his show. He interviewed an author by the name of Bruce Sackman, is his name. He was an investigator that uncovered a really shocking uh, a series of events that were going on in the VA hospitals, literally veterans being murdered by at least one doctor, if not others. There were doctors and nurses that were, were arrested that did time and actually ended up, at least one of them ended up coming back and working for the VA hospital and and was under under suspicion of literally murdering our veterans. He went to Africa for a while. There were suspicions and, and claims of of putting uh, patients uh, to death. And the list goes on and on. And, and so I don't have time to get into it now, but the interview is, is horrifying. It's shocking. Anyone who cares about our veterans, about our warriors, should listen to this interview and do what you can to get the word out. Probably the most surprising part of the interview is when we talked about, they talked about how no major media is talking about this. It hasn't been on the news. You don't see it being addressed or investigated by the White House, by by Congress. This is something that has effectively been, been swept under the rug, and we cannot allow that. I encourage you to go to voiceamerica.com. Look up the business buzz. Look up Frank Hellery. Listen to his last episode on Wednesday, November 9th, 2022. Share it with your congressman. Share it on social media. We need to have a grassroots, um, a grassroots effort to get the word out, because this is unacceptable. I, the most common response I've heard when we've shared this with people is, "What? Are you kidding me?" We need your help, though. I don't normally get political, and I wouldn't even consider this a political stand. It is a moral stand. We need to let people know that this happened, that it may still be happening, and we need to get some eyes on it. I appreciate you listening. Sorry to get on a soapbox for the day, but it's important. 
And uh, I'll wrap things up tomorrow. Take care of yourself. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now. <laughs>